It's a game that's slowly been building some hype among the tactical shooter scene over the last few months. So I went out there and I paid, yes, paid cold hard cash so I could play the pre-alpha play test. Now, some things in this shooter are a game changer and other things made me question why I just paid to play it. So let's dive in and break down direct contact. Now, quick disclaimer before we kick things off. I know this is a pre-alpha playtest game, and before you all beat me up in the comments, this is a pre-alpha you can pay to play. So I think if you're gonna charge money for it, my mission is going to be either encourage the purchase or help you save your money. Direct Contact claims to be all about authenticity, putting you in the boots of Special Forces operatives in a first-person tactical realism experience. And the second I loaded into the map, I felt like they might just deliver on that. Initially, I was pretty happy with the graphics. The foliage looked detailed and the weather and fog added a nice immersive feel to some of the maps. Assets, however, they the just looked like they were Not unedited bad. and straight off the asset store. The lack of detail on and in buildings broke that immersive feel. Being Unreal Engine 5, I just feel like I was expecting more. Game audio was a hit and miss. Gun and explosive sounds are spot on, as well as ambient weather sounds are building that immersion. The directional sound was good, giving away a general direction of enemy. Voice lines, however, are so broken, and they say random shit like they are almost trying to be funny. Now let's dive into the customization and gameplay. Customization was better than your average tax shooter. There were plenty of helmets, chest rigs, and clothing to pick from in a wide range of patterns and colors. Weapon customization was also decent with lots of attachments to pick from. And one of my favorite things, which we've seen on Ground Branch, was the ability to move attachments along that Picatinny rail so you could really set your kit up the way you like it. But what about the gameplay? Let's start by saying it felt like it was a pre, pre, pre-alpha. Movement felt slow and awkward. It's hard to explain, but it just did not feel smooth like other tax shooters. Death animations were hit and miss. Some of them looked real, and some of them looked like the original Doom game in 1993. On a positive note though, the incoming fire suppression is good. I love games that when enemy is sending rounds down range, you can't just sit there and easily face tank them. Your weapon sways, your vision blurs, and it really makes it hard to aim down sights, encouraging a more tactical style of gameplay, which you know I can appreciate. By far, the coolest aspect of this game is calling in fast air. Operating as JTAC, you can pick from a wide range of real aircraft and munitions and call in close air support. This is a new one for me, which I thoroughly enjoyed and look forward to seeing this in future games. Another thing that really impressed me was bullet ricochet inflicting damage, which I haven't seen in any other tax shooter. If you have seen this in another game, drop the name in the comments because I really want to check that out. There are a few things I didn't get to test out in this game because quite frankly, I got bored. But there are other things like breaching, arresting people, and probably heaps more but the game just didn't hook me enough to stick around and try everything. So in conclusion, if you have a spare 16 US dollars and want to help the development of this game, which I do see it heading in the right direction, then go ahead and head to their Patreon and donate to get access. At this stage, you'll have to sign an NDA. However, I think the open alpha test is beginning on the 29th of Feb, which you won't be required to sign an NDA. Now, I've been keeping a close eye on their Discord and they are a passionate team that definitely have what it takes to bring this game to the next level. But for me and my broke ass, I should have waited. As usual, hit that subscribe button if you want to help me out on this journey. And don't forget to check out one of the other videos I've done on tactical shooters. I'm Timmy Tenders. Stay tactical and I'll see you in the next video.